All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another replay review. This time, uh, I'm going to be playing Heavy Armor Specialist with Marksman Sledgehammer, and uh, my opponent is going to be playing Steel Ball Fang, which is uh, a, a strategy that I have struggled with historically uh, across many different games. It's very, very difficult to counter the hyper aggro playstyle. And uh, thankfully, I've learned a couple tricks, and uh, we're going to be demonstrating those in this game. So uh, we, we've got our units just... To, I'm, I'm spreading them out as nicely as I can here, because I'm, I'm expecting my opponent to be pretty aggressive. And uh, yeah, I, I think my tanks will do pretty well here. I, I decided to go with uh, some additional crawlers, which are pretty good into both fangs and steel balls. Obviously, fangs can start to scale up the crawlers in the long run, but... I definitely need to keep my tanks defended from the steel balls as long as I can. Same thing with the snipers. But yeah, the marksmen will do well into the steel balls. The crawlers will uh, just block up their chap as long as they can. And you can see that my opponent isn't quite going all in on one side. They're also uh, providing a, a little bit of defense on the right side with some additional steel balls. And uh, they've got their fangs evenly spread out. Uh, note that my opponent is Quick Supply Specialist, which means, like, the, the scariest swing turns are going to be these early turns. Fangs scale incredibly well if they can get going. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm a little scared. I, I feel like they should probably be using Sentry Missiles here, or do, doing something with that money. Uh, it's, it's quite surprising to see them doing nothing with it. But, uh, here is the start of the first round. You'll see that uh, I, I start to formulate some counters that I haven't used in the past against Steel Ball Fang. Normally, I try to just go mass fire. Uh, Vulcan and Firestorms are uh, both very, very good into um, Fangs. And v Vulcan it can actually outscale Steel Balls with uh, Scorch Shot, uh, which I do have slotted in as a tech option. Uh, you can see that this early round is going pretty darn well for me because their right side kind of just crumpled and uh, our snipers took uh, quick work or ma made quick work of those uh, steel balls, which is really, really nice. So yeah, positionally, I had the advantage there. It's really nice to win the uh, early aggressive positioning. That That's super great for us. We've got uh, some decent cards here. Shield airdrop could allow my opponent to uh, safely form a side area but he ends up going for the missile and I grab the shield and um, yeah I, I just feel like even though steel balls will eventually rip through the shield it's important that I keep some of my units safe so that that's what I'm going for here we've got an early mechanical rage by the fangs and people really like to go either long range or mechanical rage early uh, on the fang spam and you can see my opponent is buying even more fangs and they're gonna be setting up a flank here right away I'm buying some fangs of my own just to try and diversify my chaff and ideally uh, deal with, um, like, I, I don't want all of my crawlers going in at once and getting cut to pieces, and I think fangs will die a little bit slower against uh, fangs as well, so that, that's what I'm going for. I'm just trying to put as much defense around as possible. And I figure my tanks are a big vulnerability here. If uh, the steel balls latch onto those quickly, it's going to be a problem. So I'm leaving some of my fangs in the center here. And seeing as how they're putting a, he a heavy focus on the left side, I'm happy to um, put these extra fangs set over here. And th this shield is hopefully going to blow up some fangs as well as some steel balls. And that's exactly what it does. So that did its job really nicely. Uh, all of the uh, fangs on the flank uh, got in pretty quickly here. And uh, yeah, our, our left side is crumpling. I do not have enough defense there just yet. But uh, their right side went pretty well. And I have all of my sledgehammers left, as well as a group of fangs and a couple snipers. We even got this lovely shield. Um, so I, I think that we're going to win this round. It's just a matter of whether we keep the shield. And that steel ball is leveling up quick, but um, we do manage to take it out in time. But that is a lot of fangs with mechanical rage. Oh my goodness, was that ever close. We did get to keep the shield, which is super nice. Um, yeah, so it's, it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, supply specialist is just a great option here. Mass-produced wasp would be even better 
uh, money gen potentially if I wanted to use it that way. It could be 100 a turn. But I feel like I'm going to need lots of units, so I feel like Supply Specialist is just a little bit more of a no-brainer. Uh, both of my tanks are being leveled up and I'm getting Mechanical Rage. That'll help clear the fangs out, and they'll fight pretty well against the Steel Balls at this point. So th this round was was really just spent getting upgrades. My opponent decides to send, uh, give me a taste of my own medicine and send a, uh, a missile my way. This one hurts pretty bad. And with the range now on the fangs, they are going to be ripping through that uh, that left tower even faster than they were before. I'm really going to have to start putting a, a heavy emphasis on supporting that left tower. There's no way my shield saves me this time. Uh, leveled up marksman is going to be one-shotting the steel balls here, which is very nice, but uh, it's not quite going to be enough on its own. And uh, we just simply don't have the AoE on this wave to uh, defend ourselves, sadly. So I, I guess at this point we should be considering what are going to be the, the prime counters to me. I think my opponent should probably be... Uh, they, they definitely should take orbital bombardment here. My units are stacked up very nicely. And uh, I'm not sure if I should bother with any of these. M maybe a... Uh, I, I end up taking orbital bombardment. They, they, this is an okay spot. But yeah, this right flank is looking very vulnerable. My opponent is taking advantage of that. Uh, my opponent's left flank would be very viable to go after here. And uh, it's funny because earlier this same day, I was told by, by my chat that um, high explosive Mustangs will rip through fangs like nothing. And seeing as how fangs are the, the big problem on this side, I decided to invest in some. Uh, it's it's a pretty cheap upgrade at only 200, so um, we got 200, 400, 600, plus the, the 50 for the unlock. So 650 going into those uh, high explosive Mustangs, plus another 50 into this missile, hopefully slowing them down, because I am expecting to, to get uh, orbitaled. But you can see that we are just melting the fangs now. Uh, once again, normally I use fire to, to counter out fangs, but um, uh, the, the high explosive Mustangs, I think, are going to be my go-to in the future here. You got to keep in mind that these are level 1 Mustangs going into level 2 fangs with two upgrades. Like, that that's crazy how fast they died. And it's only going to get better as they level up. So they, they did manage to take my right tower here, uh, which is pretty expected, considering I left my right flank open it, or open there. But um, between my mechanical rage tanks and these Mustangs, I'm all but guaranteed to win. We managed to take both of their towers here. We lose the, loss, the la last little bit of our chaff in the process, but that is okay with me. Because uh, we win another round. And Fangs are very interested in just like scaling and getting a lot of XP. The more XP and scaling they get, the scarier they are. Um... We, we get Heavy Mustang here, which is just pretty darn juicy. Obviously, it drops our range, but uh, I like it a lot. And obviously, I, I give up tech spec for that. But that's okay, because um, I'm, I'm willing to spend the extra for the tech. We're going to continue leveling our tanks here. And uh, I feel like our tank... So, another interesting little counter that I've kind of learned is that uh, Sledgehammers can actually beat uh, Steel Balls in the, the right situation. So, uh, we're, we're going to continue investing into sledges here for the time being. And, uh, yeah, hopefully they help out. I'm, I'm putting some sledges in front of my Mustangs here. And, uh, they'll tank the fangs for quite a while. And we've got this extra Mustang set to defend my right flank. I've, I've got my shield available again, and the missile is available as well. The, those are in sync, both on a two-round cooldown. So it's kind of my job to decide where I want the shield, whether I want to try and predict the missile or if I want to just put it defensively on my snipers or something along that line. And uh, I do just defend my, uh, my, what I perceive as my most important point in the map, which is uh, this middle right here. And uh, you can see there, there goes all of my Mustangs, but we still have this small group that is able to just absolutely tear through those guys. The, the right side here is missed. There is, there is nothing remaining. Um, you can see that while these heavy stangs need to try and like get to the fangs, that is a bit of an issue. But um, if they get there, it, it is just like pure melting. It's, it's amazing. 
Uh, the, the snipers have been nice. I don't plan on investing any more on them. Uh, but I feel like my opponent should really diversify their army here at this point. That's one of their biggest weaknesses, is that they, they, they now have arc lights to counter the Mustangs, but um, uh, th that'll be the, the final tipping point for me to get armor-piercing rounds. If I were my opponent here, I, I feel like I would heavily consider hackers to take the sledges or fortress to, to deal with the sledges. And fortress gets the added benefit of being able to have like a giant shield that uh, would very easily defend against these Mustangs, and that would force me into Stormcallers. So I think my opponent getting some form of barrier, either via the Hacker or the Fortress, would have been a really good play here. Um, the unit diversification is really, really important, and I think that that's one of the big things where my, my opponent fell short. Uh, we're, we're taking a little bit of damage this round because those arc lights did do work for them, that's for certain. I'm going to have to find some sort of counter to that. Incendiary is looking pretty juicy. We both end up taking Incendiary. And um, I'm, I'm very much ready to just start burning some of these fangs down. We're going to buy our uh, defense enhancement. They're going to be burning my entire right flank, uh, which makes good sense. And I decided to buy the oil unlock so that way I could burn their entire front line. And that way I only have to worry about their flanks. I'm trying to get as many upgrades as we as I can here, and even more tanks. This is where I finally decide to buy my armor-piercing rounds, and uh, these sledges are going to be designed to deal with the arc lights as well as the steel balls. Steel balls will actually lose to upgraded tanks with the armor-piercing rounds. The damage is enough where they can basically one-shot kill them, and it is glorious. There's nothing more satisfying than beating your counter unit with like a, a well-placed tech and uh, i imagine that if i were my opponent and i saw like this kind of tech going out i i, I feel like uh, a decent play here could be stormcaller as well emp stormcaller would um shut down my my tanks from being able to kill uh the things that they're being able to kill and you can see before the firestorm even comes down i have literally won the fight like it's it's over it's literally... Look at the damage coming out of this. They're, 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 everything is l just liquefied. The fire cleared all that cleanly. These guys are, are just blowing up everything. I've, I've got a very strong foothold on this game at this point. And uh, it's going to be really tough for my opponent to come back. It's, it's one of those things where I feel like Fangs, once they get scaling, they're terrifying. But... We've, we did find the counter fast enough, and once again, my opponent is not diversifying their units fast enough. Uh, they, they still do have a bit of a weakness in these, uh, these left and right flanks. I should have probably invested something there, but you can see that I'm, I'm going to hot drop a rhino, and hopefully that'll go for the, the turret over here, and that'll do some good work for me. We'll see how that works. I'm going to buy an overlord. Just because uh, it, I feel like they really don't have that much to deal with it. Like, the, the Fangs will do fi fine against it, but, um, you know, it's it's an overlord. You really can't go wrong. And if I can get the uh, the photon emission, then my units are going to be even tankier, and they'll have an easy, even easier time dealing with the rushdown strategies. Because that 50% damage resistance is pretty darn sweet. I'm going to go ahead and set up some Mustangs here, just put them right in the middle. That way they can deal with these front fangs, because I've, I've kind of neglected my uh, my front, to be honest. So hopefully that'll help a little bit. You can see that my opponent's committing steel balls here on the left and right, but uh, my tanks don't care. They don't care at all. They're just going to melt through them anyway. And you can see that uh, their fangs now have shields, and my mustangs still don't care at all. The, the flank from the rhino was glorious. It's some beautiful damage. And, uh, yeah, this is, this is just like a total dismantling of a strategy that has been kicking my butt for a while. And, uh, yeah, it, it feels good. It feels real good to, to find high explosive ammo Mustang being this effective. And, uh, Sledgehammer, obviously, the countering out steel balls because of the, the armor-piercing rounds. So, yeah, that was, that was a very fun game. 
Th this was this was definitely me just you know I I'm I'm just happy that I found these counters because I've been trying to burn all these units down with fire and it's not working. And uh, hopefully this helps you with your own uh, counter aggression strategies. Uh, thank you for watching. Comment down below if you'd like to see more of these sort of games or if you'd like to see live action games as well. Uh, you can find me live on twitch.tv slash aliasbot link down below. And uh, yeah, have a good one. We'll catch you later.